Welcome back everybody. Gaming Grandpa here playing the FM Challenge in FIFA 23. This is my team number two PSV. We today are getting ready to play in the Europa League preliminary round. Now if you missed the transfer special, I covered this a little bit. The third place finishers of each of the groups in the Champions League drop down to this round here. And then the second place finishers of the group stage in the Europa League have to play against the losers of the Champions League. And the winners advance to the next round. I was mistaken. I forgot that they did this. I thought that we had to get, you know, I thought we were going to play Milan, which I would rather play the Rangers than Milan. And if you look at this, you know, I think out of all the teams we could possibly have faced, I like this draw we did not even get a chance to look at the draw you know now i wouldn't have minded to play an sc braga but i definitely didn't want to play sporting or really real leverkusen or brug i mean az we can't play them because we're some we're from the same country so that automatically ruled us out but i would have liked that draw too but out of all the draws possible between you know what we could have had i really like this draw so we're playing the best of two we play home and we play away, and today we are actually at home against them. So I'm really liking our chances here. If my team goes out and plays the way that I know they can. Now, I did have a little, this guy here has been bitching and moaning about playtime. He's on a rotational roll, but I get it. I really, really get it. It's like, ah, uh, it's just frustrating. Okay. Everybody looks good. So, yep, this is going to be the starting lineup. It looks like, you know what? I want to do this. Just because Arnold Topic is going to retire. And I know Romero wants game time, but I will bring him in at halftime just because, or set for the second half, because Arnold he gets tired. So, or Arnold Topic, I can't pronounce his damn name. Okay, but anyway, my, two, my striker combo is Arnold Topic and Mukoko. And then my midfield pretty much has not changed most of the season. It's been this. Zalewski, Till, and Gakpo. And Taylor, once again, we brought him in. He's been with us for probably about a month now. He's my central defensive midfielder. And Van Deveen, who plays center back, he's current, he also plays left back, but I am training him at left back to get some of his stats up higher. And Lund is my, you know, I guess you could call him a wonder kid. He's not quite up to that point yet, but he is playing my right back. And then Cardosa and Obispo are my center backs with, oh my God, Bidgelow, I believe his name is. Now, if I'm looking at this, I have one, two, three, four, five, six starters are from the Netherlands that were trained in country. I'm not trying to get my entire team to be trained in the country, but it sure as hell makes it a lot easier when I have a $100 million offer come in for a player that I can't let go because I only have four trained at the club. So that is what really draw, drives me nuts when I cannot get rid of a player because Gakpo, I like him. He's a fabulous, fabulous player, but he's definitely outgrown. Or out, he's outgrown. Oh my God, man. Come on. There we go. He's definitely outgrown PSV in their Radovizzi. And I was just very frustrated that Real Madrid came in for him. And, but because of registration rules, I could not let him, let him leave. And surprisingly, he didn't come back. I've had, in this episode of FIFA, I've actually had players get mad when I did not let them go. And luckily, that, that didn't happen. But I'm not going to transfer list him because he still has three years on his contract. But if I get an offer and I'm able to have, I have one youth academy kid that's been here almost three years now. So once I get him up, then I have no problem letting some of these go. Because Samba is honestly a player that I would, I'd like to let go, but I cannot because, ugh. Now, Abyssal, my center back, I'm planning on keeping him. And Gakbo, I didn't mention, but he is maxed out in development. At 25, he is maxed out in development, and he's been that way for a year now after he got 87. So, oh well. But here we go, guys. Preliminary round, game one. And it's no one. Yeah, it's snowing. That's that's fucking awesome, man. I like that. I love watching the different weather. Yeah, it's 
BSV, and they face Rangers. Well, I'm sure these managers will be asking their players to stay focused, play safe, make no All right. Players. Let's go ahead and jump into it, guys. Now, if you're new to this series and you haven't watched it, welcome. Thank you for checking me out. Hopefully, you'll like what I do. I lock in as a goalkeeper. That way, my team can follow my instructions under the team management. And hopefully, they play their roles really well. But if you notice, every now and then, you'll see like an A like him or, you know, I can kind of tell him who to pass to or whatnot or to shoot or whatnot. What the hell was he doing? But I don't do that. I let the AI run wild with my team, and I control my goalkeeper. And I just, I think it's a lot more realistic, you know, because this is the FM challenge. Whoa, that was a hell of a fucking header. Hell yeah. There I am, trying to offer instructions. <laughs> and surprisingly, I actually kind of, not look as good as he does, but I kind of have the bald hair going on, and you know, I'm not fat, so you know, I'm kind of looking like my, my avatar. <laughs> but in the FM Challenge, I am trying to play as realistic as I can towards Football Manager, and that's why I deal with the squad registration, you know, and all that other stuff. Holy crap, Mukoko has been... Man, he has been on fire since he came over to play for us. So I think all he needed was, you know, a move to a European team because he has been on fire. Even in the games. Now, I don't play that many games. The only games I play are the ones that I record. Minus a cup game here and two, I play all the cup games and all the friendly games, but I don't record all them. But even in the simmed games, he is scoring. Matter of fact, the last game I simmed, him and Gakpo both had a go, and I'm going, damn, he has scored in almost every game that he's played but one. And he's just been on fire. And I love it. And this is his, this is all the Austin FC's first European taste of postseason. So I know they're up for it. All right, Lund is a big boy, man. I didn't realize how, how big he was. Of course, his passing, but you know he's a rookie. Not a rookie. He's a. Sorry, I got distracted because I'm trying to. <laughs> I've kind of figured out how to play as a goalkeeper. Part of the problem is is that they have to be more agile. And when I was playing as Franco and a couple and Dragowski, they just aren't up to the quality. I mean, this kid here, I can't pronounce his name, but Bajilo, he is. An 83 rated goalkeeper. So, it, him and Benitez both I had no problems controlling. And they were making some really good saves. And I was worried it was because it was world class. It is harder on world class. You don't have as much time to focus and do what you want to do. But, oh my God, sometimes you guys pass too fucking much. And just like my Austin team did. I don't want to tweak my instructions though. But I could switch to a more direct passing route. Maybe that might help instead of trying to be all fancy. Ooh, hell yeah. Obispo. Come on. Damn. Cardoso with the stop. He was just standing there going, you ain't getting past my ass. Come on now, push it. See, you should be already up in there trying to score, man. Oh, fuck the passing. Just fucking shoot. You're in the box. Oh, my God. It's frustrating. Well, at least he decided to cross the fucking thing that time. Damn. Boy, oh boy, we need to practice corners again, don't we? Every now and then they'll get a good corner in, but damn. What kind of shot was that? Oh, and then you're acting like, oh, I had it. Dude, you chipped that fucking thing. Barely got it with your outside foot, so... Shit. Come on, Cardoso. Get it. There you go. Oh, hell. It's all right. Once again, not all. Of, I, I like the balance I have on ages of my, on my team. I like to have a couple veterans. Oh, shit. It's just, once again, in world class, it's really hard to figure out what, what, what the way they're going to go. So... Once he got in that middle there, I was just like, 
I thought he was going to go right, and he went left, so not much I could do about that. Now, we do play another game at at their place, and we need to score. Now that they scored one, I, I don't know if it's away goals. I thought they did away with away goals, honestly, and I thought that it was just predominantly the goals now, but I'm not 100% sure. All right, I'm taking him out and putting in Romero. There we go. As I was planning on doing, because I, I'm not. He was a starter on a topic, but I've been letting Romero start more because he's going to be his replacement. Now I was trying to get rid of him. Um, I didn't have very much luck because he's not a Netherlands. He doesn't fit the Netherlands requirements for training the country. But you know, the funny thing is about Romero is I remember back in the day when he was like 16, 17 in FIFA. He was actually one of the kids that everybody was saying you needed to sign. Maximiliano Romero, I believe is his name. Oh my fucking god, you're fucking passing, guys. Come on. Oh. There's just, I couldn't get him to move over quick enough. <laughs> oh, well, not much I can do about that, man. I mean, they are a good team, so. There we go. I'm just going to go and put all my subs in now. We need to attack, but that's all right, man. Not much I can fucking do about that. All right, damn. We're not out of the woods. I mean, we're not out of this yet. We can still do it. I mean, we could go to QPR and just dominate them. But the way we're playing right now, it's all... Oh, my God, the fucking passing back and forth, man. I don't get that. Push it forward. Great. Great. What the hell, man? Oh, shit. He's got a shot if he takes it. <clears throat> Just get the fucking ball out of here, man. There you go. Oh, I thought you had it. Come on, Vanderbilt. Yeah, they're definitely having a ball a lot, ain't they? Fucking get him. Don't let him. Oh, fuck. I was right. <laughs> you heard my controller. I was moving it. There you go. Now, this is all you. If you don't score this fucking thing, dude. God damn it. Finally. Fuck. I was going to say, you should have. Oh, Siberia. He's bitching him on that he's not playing. And you have just, he doesn't have the speed, I guess. So, I thought he was going to pass to a defender and fuck that. Almost did. Fuck. A two-on-one break. You guys need to score. About time Romero decided to pass instead of shoot right there. But, damn. All right. We could definitely do this still. I'm pushing, pushing for a win. This is why I want to have a shout that says demand more. <laughs> like a football manager, but nope. All right, it's up for them. You can always tell because it pauses. Oh, my God. Come on, guys. Come on. Fucking corner kick. Woo! We got like five minutes here to... Ah, oh, there you go. Push it. There you go. Push it, guys. Push it. Fucking, oh, my God. Come on. Luckily, Mukoku. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, well, it's a tie. Fuck. 
You know, the sad thing is, is I don't think any of them goals were my fault. I did stop the one. Now, when you have a one-on-one -on -one break at world-class difficulty, when you're playing as a goalkeeper like I do, it's hard to decide. It's like a penalty kick. you got to kind of quickly decide what where you're going to go. And I was going to go right, and he put it right in that little, oh, fuck. It's all right. That was, that was a hell of a header there. I wish we would have had that one in there. But it's 2-2, two to two and now we go to their place. So, you know, I don't think goal differential matters, but we need to win. Winning and it solves everything. If we draw, then we have to go to extra time, I do believe, or penalties. I don't know how they're doing it. But, oh, well. <sighs> now, the next episode is going to be coming up. I'm not going to do the post. I don't care. The next episode will be coming up pretty quick because we play these guys exactly a week from today. So, oh my gosh, it was kind of thrilling. I'm glad we pulled out a draw. <laughs> oh, it's going to be crazy, man. But anyhow, guys, like I said, the next episode is a week from today on the game time. So it's going to be coming up pretty soon here. And then I still have my three random games, but, you know, and we're getting in, into the cup kind of far too. Oh, wow, 116. That was my 150th match. Go, Grandpa. Go, Grandpa. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you like my content, please subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Leave some comments. Let me know what you're doing, what you like, what you don't like. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, and talk to you soon.